what is up everyone it's gonna be my rek'sai jungle video and i'm gonna teach you everything about knowing how to jungle and most importantly how to play rek'sai so for our starters our build there's a few options in this game we're gonna go stride breaker into eclipse into steric gauge there are some item changes next patch and i'll go over what i think will be the best builds in that current patch so here i'm against kindred jungle matchup is kindred top is olaf tf here's a syndra mf leona versus kaiza zarif so for starters, very important to really have an active mind when you play the game. You really want to think about matchups, and then you want to think about how you want to play towards your lanes. So in this game, I'm thinking ball lane is quite aggressive. Leona wants to all in. I'm thinking mid, Syndra has stun, which is really good for me. That's like setup. So if I gank mid lane, I have a really easy time with Syndra's stun. Very good synergy. Jax versus Olaf. Olaf, this is kind of like a spicy lane where Olaf wants to kind of like all in. So I just have to think about that. Here we might start red buff and just solo red right now. Just to potentially avoid against any level 2 cheese. Ch Kindred is a level 2 cheesing champion. So I always want to think about that. For the Rek'Sai matchup, it's generally hard to kill her early game unless she's low. But there are ways you kind of can play around it. So here, just might let our jungle pet do the rest. And I have a few options about how I want to play early game. Honestly, every lane is really gankable. Personally, in this meta, I think ball lane is really important. You can play for void grubs, but I feel like top lane excels more if you don't really have to camp it, if they just win off of like maybe one gank. But I feel like if you gank or if you just only play top side, it's generally not the best. I mean, void grubs are nice, don't get me wrong. I love my void grubs. But ball lane is too impactful with how strong ad carries are right now after all the buffs i find it very important to gank ball lane so here rek'sai level 3 gank is always a standard one if i want to go for it it's looking like tf didn't ward yet so i'm pretty happy um, i want us to go in here so how are we going to go in we're going to start with e flash go on him with the knock up chase him down auto attack space you see you know i'm on top of him i'm right clicking him i'm ready to knock him up but also, if he flashes, I'm also ready for that, too. Here, I have to be careful, because I just flashed. Kindred knows where I'm going. So, it's all obvious. The way Leona's positioning makes me think something's going on here. So, I just want to walk in and see. And now, I really do like this angle. I think we could fight. So, I see Kindred here. So, what I'm going to do is E. And I'm going to go on the Kindred right away. And then, from here, I'm going to Burl again and try to get onto the Leona. Do we have heal? We don't. I'm going to Q here and then go on the Leona. Very good play, though. Overall, like, we're pretty happy with that. And, you know, Kindred, I was just scanning. The way they were playing, right? Like, you could see this is something called movement. You know, making it obvious is what you hear a lot. And the concept behind that is just... The way she was playing, it was just very obvious that something was going on there. Here are my top size marks. So I'm going to drop my ward here and just see... You know, like, it's always good. I was just doing a coaching session where I was thinking, I was talking about, you know, just warding this to see the second Raptor respawn is huge. This ward it gives you so much information. It's just extremely valuable, and it's just extremely important to kind of have that ward. So here, I kind of like the triple sword with the dagger bite. Tiamat's not bad as well, but I just generally, I got a good feeling about this buy. And from there, I think Kindred might have took my bot side, so we have to think about that. Let's see what camps are up. So my wolf camp is up, and it's level 1. There's a high chance Kindred maybe took some of my bot side. Just generally by the way she was coming, like, moving from base, right? So it looked like she took my blue. Okay. So how do I want to play the map in the current position? So, like, for me, I'm, I'm just constantly looking at the mini map. I see Leona missing, and I think, okay... How does that affect me in this current map state? Well, TF is no flash. Raptors are up. The ward granted me the vision. Here, if I was to gank TF, the way I gank in this situation is actually quite nice. I actually prefer to just E from here, but I need him to be more, I would say, in a better position. That's too far, but here, because he gold cards and walks up, we can actually get the kill here now. That's a very interesting thing. One more auto should do it. And, yeah, as I was saying, the way, you know, like, I, 
too close to tower, I'm not going to reach her on time before he gets to tower. That's not a game. But when he goes back in after, that's where we strike. And here we're going to ward the Raptor. Really keep this vision here. This vision is really important, especially when you're against like a matchup, like a ranged matchup, like Kindred matchup. It's really important to keep, you know, tracks on her. And here I'm going to go for the flank play. So here I just need to get on someone. And I usually eat from the wall here to get on top of them. And here I'm going to just auto and try to burrow and get into the brush. Maybe knock up and trade for kills if possible too. And overall, maybe my position not the best. I should have angled a bit better for them. There, I was right clicking. I, I should have just W casted. I'm not sure if it's bugged or not, but it does feel like W casting sometimes just gives you like the bigger knockup range. But anyways, it's still pretty good. We do play for Void Grubs. I, I think it's weird how the game is. Void Grubs are OP after the buffs. And if you can get them without like losing anything, that's extremely good. But here, I think I can kill this guy, right? Arab transfer. Yeah, I'm going to send him back to Arabia. Your boy better learn Persian, my man. And here, I'm going to play for the Herald afterwards. Tagging it will just let me heal. I just want to one-shot one because I have two smite charges while they're running away from one. Very nicely done by me. Here I see Kindred moving. I do want to kill Kindred. I don't care about the grubs so much right now. Getting the E off would be extremely nice. Here she failed her jump. Incredibly well played by her. I wouldn't say failed her. I knocked her up as the same time. So Olaf is coming here. Warding him out. I don't want to be on crap. Like, I cannot be the... I'm not going to be able to do the Void Grubs in front of him. But he obviously wants this fat wave. So, he's out of there. And here we just want to kill it after that. This incredible early game. I'm just feeling pretty good about pretty much everything. I just farm up. And I think about what my item buy is. And what I need to have. Like, how much gold am I going to need? For, like, what items I want. And honestly, if you just have your first item completed, ready to go. Even though I have all these jungle camps up. I'd rather just base so I'm as strong as possible and then I go from there. I have two options. I go Stridebreaker into Cleaver or Stridebreaker into Eclipse. This game will go Eclipse. Generally, Eclipse, I find it more effective into squishier comps. It gives you more AD, more just burst damage. So against, like, a squishy comp like Kindred matchup, it's actually quite nice, too. It looks pretty dead. Syndra might be able to follow up kill here. But anyways, I see Kindred bot side. And I think, okay, is she going for my camps yet? She's starting Dragon. And I think I don't think she could just be able to start dragging like that. So what I'm going to do is actually kill her and dragon. So what we're going to do is take the plant to be itself. I just want to get on her. So I just have to get vision on her. I do have a ping so I can kind of see. So here we're just going to go on her fast with stride breaker. Get her R. Oh, she actually got her. You can always W and just R right after her. Here, I'm going to Stride Breaker slow, knock up in a second. E for damage, and... You know, I'm sad I didn't get the dragon, but you know what? Three kills, that's not too bad. Not too shabby there, we'll take that. So here I look at her camps, I think Raptor's up. Okay, if Raptor's up, there's a small chance she comes to Raptor. So I'm going to pull it into the brush and just see if she, like, runs this way. If not, she most likely is topside then. So here I don't see her. I just assume option three, option two, she's in her top side. Killing here is possible if the wave is there. So if the wave is there, it, it'll just tank. I think she's over here right now. Also think Syndra is quite strong. She just pushed that wave fast so I can just start to dive. She took too long, so now she wasted a lot of my time. So I'm just going to base. Actually, I don't know if I even want to base. Maybe I just want to go top side. But I'm committed. I'm a man who's... If I do something, I do it. And now I'm just very committed. So here, what are we going to do is wait for him to use this card. We really need to use a card or that is good enough. K Kindred or Syndra dies. That's perfectly acceptable. We'll always give that up. And because of the three Void Grubs we get, the true damage is actually very insane. 
And a good thing, a big thing now that happens is me just getting three void grubs. I, I noticed that like my laners are obliterating tower. Like three void grubs, just this is so much true damage, right? So I think the first three void grubs are really good. And playing for first, like over first dragon for sure, right? Like, if I can get the grubs, I can. Like I'll, I would want them, but like you obviously don't want to just lose the game for them, though. They're not like that kind of thing. You don't want to lose the game. You're around see if she's on my top side. So what we do as Rexile, you always want to scan with your sonar. Your sonar is pretty good to kind of check all that, check all the camp cycles. Okay, red is up. I can probably do red. I, I do have a good base, but I'll probably do it later. So here, I'll take the tunnel. Okay. What I'm thinking is I'm just going to get the red. I'm not going to do the raptors because that will generally slow my tempo too much. I, I want to be fast on the map and I want to be fast for... Possibly a bot side play here. Remember we said we're Eclipse or whatever items we're going to be building. Eclipse or Black Cleaver into Cerex is really OP. And what I think is really OP about the first three Void Grubs is actually that. They help you so much getting tower plates. Like towers just melt with those Grubs. Here, I'm pretty happy to help my Syndrome. But as I'm helping Syndrome, realistically, I'm helping myself the most. Farewell, Queen. You will never be forgotten. Maybe not so much, Miss. Here, I'm just gonna push the wave in, right? This guy's dead. I don't know what he's standing still for. Texting his ex, whatever. Not gonna happen, not in my game. So here, like, Kindred's up again, so I'm just gonna ward in positions that... Well, she's already here. Here, she has no R, so we can just tower dive her. Usually, I don't do this if the champion has, like, you know... An ultimate up or something that could prevent it, but Rek'Sai with R, very good at tower diving, resets aggro. So you generally just want to get them low enough, and then R, and you're perfectly good. This is generally how I dominate, really play aggressive, play around the map. Even in like Diamond, Diamond 3, Diamond 2 games, it's all the same for me. Oops, didn't mean to seal that. So here I'm just baiting his thing out. And then what we're going to do is take the tunnel and reset it. And what, what you see here is I'm, I'm just buying time so his R runs out. And then from there we just go back in, right? Engage and disengage. That's a big thing about this new Rek'Sai. If you want to win on the new Rek'Sai, it's a lot about engaging and also disengaging, right? Yo, Jax, get it out of here. It's my grub. My grub. And from here, I go Eclipse. I got Sterix. You can go Cleaver. Sterix. Sterix is getting nerfed next patch. It might end up being like a Death Sans Maw kind of build path in the future. But as it is on this patch, Sterix is really broken. Third item. So we're going to be building him. Here, my bowling is dead, but I'm extremely strong. I'm sort of like God. I am God. So wherever I go, I, I pass judgment upon the enemy champions. And that's how you should play with such a high advantage. So here I'm happy to fight. I don't think I, I don't really need anyone on my team. I have my R coming up. So if I can just buy some time, I can go back in. Oh, sh oh one hit. That was a mistake. I played that poorly. I should have just killed the kindred fast i wasn't sure if she had ulti or not mistakes happen though overall not the biggest of deals able to get that kill able to get possibly dragon next and in this point what like it's good to be like super fed right like having so many kills extremely good but you need to transfer that into, you know, objectives, right? Like, my goal is to get dragon, stack dragons, and also get towers and sort of picks around that. Why are you TPing when you're top towers there? So my goal, you do want, when dragon's up, you play for dragon. And then after that, you generally want to play heavily around looking for, you know, like picks and pushing lanes and getting towers like this. 
So for me, I'm pretty happy with just killing this TF ASAP. Maybe he'll face check. Maybe he'll go for ball wave. Most likely, he's going to do something stupid. So here we see him walking in. So we just go on him fast, kill him. And now we can get bot tower, right? This is how you get towers. Or you kill this person who's, you know, potentially the laner or whatever. You kill him and then you or someone else like Kaiser will end up getting the tower, right? So Kaiser should just finish that tower off. And rinse and repeat, right? This is how, this is like my entire play style. This is why I play. And I look for a lot of picks. And I really, important thing is to look for picks where there is no vision, right? Like if you feel like it's warded, if it's warded, it's not going to amount to like a good play. Here I see MF going top side, so I'm just going to push the wave. I think potentially we could fight, but we need numbers, right? Numbers is always something I scan for. I always think about how many numbers we have. Here I'm going to hit the plant because we have no vision. This will just give us a really good window and just to see what we're potentially going to walk into. Here it could be warded. If someone walks this way, it might be warded. If they don't walk this way, then I think we're in a safe position. Here I'm going to get on the MF fast. So I have R, so I can always chase after that. It's a freebie. I love my MF booty. And from there, you know, we got the pick. We got the kills. What do we do? We transfer it into the objectives. Or just another kill, too. He's trying to starting to kill me, so I'm just going to take the tunnel out. But Damn, this Olaf actually kind of nuts with that damage. What the hell? I probably should have took the tunnel out earlier. I was feeling really ambitious. I wasn't expecting him to live for so long. This guy's also um a potato so he wasn't really dealing much damage unfortunately he's one item but i'm almost three items so there's a bit of a gap in the kills and for me i just play this kind of repeat style i always track dragon herald i'm not like super big on like i'm like whatever about herald herald's good it's like a winning objective right it's a good one but it's not easy to like it takes a lot of time so you just do it in like good moments like i'm not gonna die for herald it's not that kind of objective it's just Okay. Here there's a fight there, but I'm probably just going to do red because I don't want to run all the way up there. I'm going to finish red off then I'll see. Okay, now it's looking like a real fight, so I think we can actually fight here. Yeah, I don't know if TF... Here I want to go on MF, right? We smite. Stride Breaker. Thing is, people don't know that you don't need to hit a champion for stride breaker movement speed. Once you hit something, you're gonna go fast. So now it's actually a good herald timer. My FPS has been dropping so much. Riot Games, baby. Yeah, the stride breaker, it gives you this movement speed active. The slow effect, if you can hit a champion, it's huge though. And here we always want to start to break outers. This outer works 600 gold. Giving it to Jax, ideally, I would prefer to be the one to take it. So here we can kill. Just go on the TF fast. Very easy, very simple. One shot in. After that, we're going to go on the Kindred. Try to knock up multiple people by doing this. R just to kind of keep the chase going. Going on the MF. Clips proc. We have E, right? So we can always tunnel. I'm going to flash over. Think about going back in. All right. I'm just going to keep poking as I consider me going in. I think I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go with the Herald flank here. So here I'm going to take the Herald out for a ride. We'll drift a bit. Make sure I hit Leona. And then after hitting Leona, I'm going to go for the mid tower actually. <laughs> this Herald drifting was a bit crazy there and now we just kind of break the towers out the void grubs i mean the true damage is insane don't get me wrong you're gonna notice some insane value from it and pushing more than this is suicidal i'm just here we we like go into the locust mode where we just pillage and just swarm and cannibalize everything in our path we become the swarm Kill everything, get everything, like do not leave any farm behind for the enemy jungle. You want him to feel as bad as possible. No happiness. If he's happy, you're not doing your job right.
One second, I'm just gonna close something. And here we do the dragon and we're pretty much set and then I look to reset. This is like a perfect scenario where I would look for like my reset right after all this and I'll be pretty happy with it. Now we base and we're pretty much good to go. We are. And then this is where I, I usually would go for like a DD angle. Get a pink ward, maybe like one or two. For you, if you have like a free slot, like one pink is okay. You don't have to buy too many, especially early game. If you don't know where you're going to pink, don't buy too many. Buy like maybe one or two every now and then. Here, this Olaf's getting pretty brave. Looking like one of the Olaf's from Vinland Saga. He misses that. I wonder if he just gives up on the chaser after that. He does. I'm like juked out. Like I'm jacked up on Mountain Dew right now, bro. This bro had no chance. He even proc. He barely scratched my Sterics, bro. What was he thinking? Actual barbarian. He has a barbarian mindset. And from here, we just keep pushing. And without flash up, it's hard to get on like the MFs. We have to rely on just tunnel and like stride breaker slow, which is possible. So I think maybe someone's over here. My ward MF is here. Just keep pushing the wave in. I'm so strong that I can kind of just giga chat everything. Going to TF is fine here. Going to MF2, I can reset tower aggro. Perfectly fine for me. Kaiza dies, but perfectly acceptable for Kaiza to die there. Because it wasn't me, I'm superior to her. The much more important team player. So it's perfectly fine for her to die like that. Here I'm going to act like I'm leaving. And once Kindra jumps again, actually no, Olaf's here. Never mind. That's just in general. Like We're just really happy with that sequence. We're just going to do Krugs. I'm going to farm a bit now. <laughs> really, you got it. Like when you're doing well, like your teammates sacrificial pieces to a puzzle. Going on Kindred here fast is just really important. Stride breaker slow. Probably knock up Leona while I go on the Kindred. Remember, we can always take the tunnel again. So we can take the tunnel. Act like we're leaving. Go on this guy. E out. We still have Sterics. Smite to speed up. Let my lads finish off for you. Sorry. Syndrome, get him! Get him, Syndrome! Or Thank God she pressed R. The one thing they couldn't dodge. Cinder's love. Oh my god, this is a Giga Chad battle. I've never seen it like this. Press E, oh. Press E, Jax. And this is where I would go DD. Oh god, he's dead. He might be dead too. Oh, he is dead. That's the E. Run, Zer. Run. All right, he's dead. Game is somewhat losable, but not really because I'm super good. I have DD. So like the last item, generally, it's kind of flexible. You build whatever. This game, they only have one champion who's AP. So I probably wouldn't build an MR. <laughs> Most likely I would build like an armor HP item, like a Sunder Sky. Or a cleaver. Sometimes I like building mortal reminder too. <clears throat> I don't know. On Rek'Sai, it's like actually a lot of damage. <clears throat> Sorry, my throat's like kind of kicking. <clears throat> I don't know what's warded here, so I have to play like relatively human. <clears throat> Kindred might come here. I hope she face checks me. My goal is to kill the MF here, Stride Breaker, Knock Up, Gold Card. You always buffer your R with the Gold Card. Now I just kind of juke out. I don't really have to do anything else here. Burl, Stride Breaker. This guy has no more. He has no more R going on, so we can just always, you know, Burl again for healing. You know, I'm just the best, right? Like, that's just what it is. I'm just the very best. Here, maybe we can get a Q-Snipe going. But yeah, like, last item, you can go Cleaver. Sometimes 
mortal like more doms as well whatever you're feeling is what i do it's what i do man i dominate i make the possible impossible <clears throat> and here we're just gonna finish off the towers we have the void grubs extremely easy the true damage all that kind of stuff and very broken and yeah, that's generally how I win my games on Rex side. Hope you guys liked the video. Be sure to like, subscribe if you haven't already. Good luck on your games. Good luck on the climb. I'll see you guys next time.